everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise is a better way to check the brake fluid besides visual inspection. Before you get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon where you notify new videos. And if you watch the video entirely and you like it, please help me out for thumbs up. Hey folks, let's get started here. So I purchased a brake fluid tester uh, on Amazon. I want to share what I found and if Two of the lights are showing red, that means you grade in 4%. One of the lights showing red, less than 3% or 3% or so, then you want to replace the brake fluid. If it's just the yellow and the green lights, you're okay. And with just green light in particular, you're excellent, right? So this is the product I purchased. There's a number of other ones out there on Amazon, 1.5 volt battery is not included. It's actually a triple A battery by the way. So I'm going to take out the box here and it's like a pen. This one holds like a pen, but keep in mind, uh, it's very corrosive for the battery fluid. You want to wear gloves in testing still. So wash the unit after you finish. Green battery is okay. No water detected and it's green and yellow. Less than 1% of water is detected and all the others green yellow and red every time there's a red there's three percent or higher just keep that in mind then you want to change the brake fluid you can't just tell from looking at it um you know you could tell it gets dirty but you can't tell when how much moisture is in there so this one in particular has uh two contact points you see on the bottom over there and also at the same time it has a little hook that you could probably you know put it on your shirt or a pocket to turn on just hit that button so first of all what we need to do is actually put a battery in there so you use one AAA battery it's not included so you, you need to purchase that separately which I have right here one AAA battery going in well one AAA battery going into the unit and this is the orientation how it gets in there the plus on the top and you just put the cover on so slip it in and I'll try to do a one hand here. First try and there you go. So that's all you need to do to put in. So after you turn it on, it will show the battery light is lit. If your battery is low, it won't show up. Okay. So you put it in the brake fluid uh, reservoir, then it will show up. Then after 12 seconds, it shuts off for this particular one. So this is how the ends look like in this particular one. Very compact, very easy to use in particular. So that's that's this unit over here. So for this particular unit, like many elders out there, you're probably gonna get a little user manual. I'm just gonna reiterate, uh, battery uh, fluid is very corrosive. So you probably wanna wear gloves and don't get in contact with any metal surface in the vehicle and very simple product to use. You shouldn't uh, open the brake fluid reservoir for long periods of time because moisture could get in. So once you do the test, make sure you close that and also wash this product under a tap water or something so the, the ends don't get corroded on the bottom. So, and it does shut down in 12 seconds. Initially, I thought that was a malfunction, but it's actually a 12 second inactivity uh, sensor or whatever they call that that's built in to shut off in uh, 12 seconds. So we iterate, uh, if you're green, you're good. Green and yellow is still good. But once you have green, yellow, and red, especially you see a red, you need to change your brake fluid. Okay, so I'm gonna test it out on my GS. The brake fluid that's supported is a dot three and dot four. So it's a very simple test to do. You probably wanna wear gloves because it's very corrosive. And once you finish the test, you wanna wash the probe. Uh, on the bottom part that is and make sure you put the cap back on as soon as possible because you don't want moisture to get into the brake fluid reservoir in particular okay folks so i have my gs here and i want to put it on all you need to do is uh, push the button and put it in so after 12 seconds like i mentioned on this particular unit it shuts off so you want to do it faster than 12 seconds which you're going to attempt to do right now and all you need to do is stick the probe in and check out the reading. So I'm doing that right now. 
and we're good you know it looks like it's at the okay level so but actually it's, it's just the battery light that's lit so it goes off in 12 seconds clean off the, the unit i just want to test it one more time so just to be sure so it's actually okay it's not going to change it's you know and as simple as that so we put the cover back on right here make sure it's sealed all the way through there we go good as new and we're going to put the dot three and dot four and next i'm going to do another test it's the water test for this particular unit and i just want to show you if this is all water um, by the way i already washed the probes turn it on you put it on water and see what it shows so all the lights are lit including the red ones in particular that means this unit is detecting moisture all right so after 12 seconds it does go off so that's it okay folks so that's it for this particular product a very simple brake fluid tester so you could tell your brake fluid has moisture and needs to be changed not just because it's uh, clean looking doesn't mean it doesn't have moisture hopefully this video helps you out i really appreciate a thumbs up if you have a comment to share please leave it below to help others and i'll see you next time have a good one bye